Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Metatine, and I bring you my very first Let's Play with just me. Yeah, just me. I decided to pick the Punisher. First off, the story. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole origin of the Punisher. Before we get started, I gotta do one thing. Of course, this is made by Capcom in the 90s, and the only way to get the perfect ending of the game is to beat the game on the hardest difficulty, which means the enemies will be having twice as much health as they do in the normal mode and the bosses will be ridiculously hard by that I mean the first boss and let's get started you can choose to be the Punisher or Nick Fury I, I guess Nick Fury had some free time in the 90s and here's the first stage Welcome to the war. And let's get started. Uh, there is two versions of this game. This is the Genesis version and there's the arcade version. And it's not going to be surprising that the arcade version is superior in just about every way. Yeah, it's it's a beat em up. Yeah, when I think Punisher, I, I, I think beat em up. When I think Punisher, I think of his dead family and him wanting to avenge others who died like them. The 89 movie and Dolph Lundgren. That's what I think when I think of the Punisher. Yeah. And here's our first encounter. What's going on back here? The Punisher. You can run. But you can't hide. Yeah, that's my really bad Dolph Lundgren. I hope you like it. And in certain sequences of this game, you can actually use a pistol. Like, you know, on the cover of the game where he's holding guns. Yeah. But it's selective. You won't be able to use bigger guns until the third stage. Which is awkward. But timely. The character that was just introduced is a crime lord bot called Bruno, and I don't know much about him. He's, I think he's pretty much just game exclusive. And like all fighting game fashions, you can only use a baseball bat four times in a fight. Oh yeah. Mm, Punisher Super Strikers. Ugh. This game is, in terms of the Genesis market, it's definitely novelty. Well, I don't. It's nice. I mean, I don't want to compare it to the arcade version, which is pretty much superior in every way, except I personally think that the Genesis music is better. And well, trivia note: the same composer who composed this game's soundtrack is also the same composer for the Kingdom Hearts series. And she's often credited as one of video games' greatest composers. Though well, listening to this, it's clear to tell this is her early work, and I just don't.
Yep, this is the majority of the video. Me fighting in this one area. And then using guns. This will be a perfect time for me to show off some of the special moves that the Punisher can actually use in the game. Punisher has three special moves. This is his... This is his Revive 1. This basically an underkick. My personal favorite one. Not that, this. He just jumps and throws a grenade down, and if I can grab someone. This. WWE Punisher vs. Rey Mysterio. Oh, great. I, I think I just thought of a wrong. Anyway, boss time. You're finished now, Bruno. Scully, get him! A little trivia, you know, uh, in the arcade version, the van is red. In the Spider-Man the Animated Series, the van was purple. I guess Marvel nor Capcom could decide what color they wanted the van, since they always change its color. And I know it's called, I know there's such thing as color limitations in a Genesis game, but you know, there's pretty much red everywhere in this level right here. First boss is Scully. He's not too hard, he's basically the rhino of this game. He's pretty easy when you know what to do. And I just died, and I got my first game over. Die! Come on! Yes. And with that, Scully is defeated, the very first boss. Stage one clear. And that's the very first stage, Crime Hunter. I'm gonna first continue, but this game is relatively difficult. But, hey. Punisher. Ooh, Tell me where your boss is. Please don't kill me. He's at the castle. Pa oh, thanks and goodbye. And that's the end of that. I mean, yeah. I won't be starting stage 2 until the next part. And a little trivia note, in the arcade version, the Punisher does not throw him into space. The Punisher just pulls out a gun and shoots him. Personally, I like the throw into space. Punisher's quite revolutionary. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll see you all for part 2. Have a good night, and take care.